Welcome back to Makeshift EdTech. Today, we're gonna to go over how to update your firmware on your Creality Ender 3 version 2 3D printer. This process is exactly the same though for the Creality Ender 3 Pro 3D printer and many other Creality 3D printers. Let's get started. You're probably wondering, what is firmware? Well, firmware is basically a translator. It takes the commands you send and converts it into electrical signals that control it, helping it move around and also what's on the screen. So you're probably thinking, why do I have to upgrade my firmware? Isn't it all the same? Not exactly, but there are really two main reasons you'd upgrade your firmware. One, is bug fixes. It can make your 3D printer operate better. And two, more features. And who doesn't like more of something, right? Step one. First, you have to find the firmware on the Creality website. Creality uses a version of the open source firmware called Marlin. If you want to take a deep dive into the Marlin firmware, check out the website www.marlinfw.org. This is a technical task that involves changing code, and I suggest starting with standard firmware provided by Creality, as it just works and is easy to install. So that's what we're going to do today. To find Creality's version of the firmware, go to Creality's website at creality.com. Then go to Support, Download Center, then choose your 3D printer, mine is Ender 3 V2. And when you get here, you'll see the product manual, and then you'll see all these firmware options. Well, you know what the latest is by the date. And the main thing to know is which version of the motherboard your 3D printer has. The only way to figure out what yours has, unfortunately, is open the physical case that contains the motherboard and look for the writing on the board. I know, that is annoying. On a Creality Ender 3 V2, you'll either have a 4.2.2 or 4.2.7, depending on when it was produced. I have a 4.2.2, so I'm gonna download this one. Step two, download the firmware onto the SD card. Once you have downloaded the firmware, you need to unzip it by double clicking on my Mac. If this message comes up, just say, okay, that's fine. And find the .bin file. Then you need to copy that .bin file onto the SD card. It is important to make sure there's only one .bin file on your SD card. In my case, there is. Step three, install the firmware on the 3D printer. First, make sure your 3D printer is turned off. Next, insert the SD card that has the firmware file on it into the SD card slot on your 3D printer. Then turn your 3D printer back on. Look at your screen and you will see your firmware installing. Once it's complete, you can check in the info tab to see what version of firmware you have and that it installed correctly. And finally, step four, test your 3D printer works. Congratulations, you have now successfully upgraded your firmware and you have more. Who can't be happy about that? As always, remember to subscribe and ring that bell. It really helps us out. And if you want to learn more, check out my Fundamentals of 3D Printing course on the Makeshift EdTech Learning Portal. 
in the link in the description below. Until next time, as always, take the time to learn and create every day. Mm.